These days when you go into Google Ads and you go to build a new campaign, Google always offers you help. How nice of them. They basically say to you, you can use their AI system to build a campaign. You don't have to have any knowledge. You don't have to worry about all of this keyword research, ad group segmentation, writing content for text ads, any of that stuff. Hey, we'll take it off your hands. We'll build the campaign out for you. Sit back and relax. Just give us a very simple prompt involving your website and a bit of text. We'll contextually understand that and we'll create a campaign for you. So what I'm going to do today is kind of see how far Google has come with this technology. I've looked at this previously historically and seen that Google did a very bad job in generating content for ads using this system. It made a bad job of generating a campaign structure within the Gemini AI system. But because of all of the issues Google has faced and all the investment they've made into AI because of their terrified fear of ChatGPT and OpenAI, I'd like to think Google has come a long way since I last tested their system. Now, of course, it's still in beta. We're not going to be funny here and say, you know, it's a, it's a finished product. Far from it. But I think it's important to see how far it's come. So join me as I build an ad using only Google's AI. Let's see how I get on. Okay, so we are going to build a campaign using Google's proprietary AI. And I did this a long time ago, and it wasn't very good. I'm trying to see if Google has actually improved things. So this website here, the Premier Vehicle Care, is a local garage, and it's something I'm going to use in order to see whether or not Google can actually do this. So let's use this URL as the place we're going to advertise. Let's see if Google can do a good job of building a campaign for this business from scratch without using any Google Ads knowledge. So let's create a campaign. We're going to go to new campaign. Yeah, you kind of have to know how to do that bit, um, but I hope everybody knows how to. Um, so let's go on to create without guidance. We'll do a search campaign, of course. And we've got a conversion in there. It's all test conversions. So this is a test account, so it's not that important. We want to see what the outputs are. So we'll go to continue, we'll give it a name, we'll call it test. Okay, so the campaign has a name. Let's just make sure we take off the search partners and display network. We've got all countries and territories. We're going to add another location. We're going to enter another option, go to advanced. So this is the kind of thing advertisers will have to know because you want to target effectively. So we'll go to radius and we'll do a 20 mile radius around Newcastle upon Tyne, which is where this business is based. Way bigger than what actually they probably could service, but just for an argument's sake. In fact, we'll go down to 10 miles and then hit save. Okay, so that's a 10 mile radius. We're not using any display partners and we're going to do presence people in or regularly in as opposed to just showing interest to make it a bit more accurate as well. We're not going to go with the broad match setup. We're not going to use any audience segments and we're not going to check any more of these settings. We're going to get to the page. We actually want to see what happens. So you're meant to put your URL into this page. Google will scan the website and then come up with some text that basically tells you whether or not it understands the content of the website to use as a basis for creating your ads. So let's take the website URL. Let's drop it in here and we're going to go and see what happens. So Google is now looking at the website generating the content and here it is. So all of this content is basically answering the question, what makes your products or services unique? Now, this isn't really an explanation of what makes products or services unique necessarily. It's basically just showing the services that this business provides. So, you know, car servicing, body repairs, tires, MOT, accident repairs, all of this is good because it's actually what's on the website and it's actually what this car service garage does. So it's definitely come a long way since I last used this tool where it was completely useless. Let's see how it continues. So target audience, people who own a car, need repair services, unique selling points. This is the part that's important because it's going to differentiate the advertiser. Approved repair center with specialist trained technicians and our commitment to improving service for our customers. Actually pretty good. So it's kind of figured out that Google has basically seen that on the website, they've got these USPs mentioned and they kind of contextualized it and put it into this section to use for adverts. So we've got some content here. It says it can take up to 3000 characters. So ideally you'd continue typing information into this. But as I say, this whole tutorial is basically trying to see whether or not you can just create a campaign with any, without any knowledge and just move forward and see if it works. So let's generate the assets and see what Google comes up with when doing this. As I say, when this tool came out, it was completely useless. Let's see what it can do now. Okay, so what the, what, the way this works is you've got two feeds. You've got obviously the, 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 the left-hand side here where you're actually creating the campaign content in terms of the ad groups and keywords. And then you've got this kind of chat box 
kind of feed here which tells you what the campaign has done so based on the information that you shared i generated 10 keywords i generated the following assets for you to review 15 headlines four descriptions and i generated some site links that you might want so let's start off with the good <laughs> let's start with the good so it's generated an ad with 15 headlines and four descriptions which means it's a complete ad let's take a look at the ad it's not done just done a display path which might be okay because it's a generic ad for general car service even though you could use a display path that's fine it's got the business name here it's got car body shop near you approved repair center it just says customer feedback it doesn't really say whether it's five star or anything else it's not really got any any improvement from when i last used this tool Trained technicians is good. 24-7 repairs is all good. MOT tires and service. Get your car repaired. Yeah, all, all of these are pretty much okay. There are some mistakes, but they're not really inspiring either in terms of good copy. I actually made a video. I've linked it in the description below on what actually makes a good ad. But these aren't really good. They're, they're okay. Descriptions again. We offer car servicing repairs and more. Repair, you know, using the, you know wide range of services. Quality genuine manufacturer, only genuine, genuine manufacturer parts. So generally, it's okay. We've got all of these different areas covered. It's okay. But the problem is this. I said I'd, I said I'd start with the good. Here is the bad. You've gone onto this website here. It offers tires, MOTs. For those who are in the, U, in the US who don't know what an MOT is, it's an annual test to every vehicle needs to pass in the UK to be roadworthy. They offer this testing service, which basically all mechanics do. Um, it's got accident repairs, it's got um, insurance repairs, it's got servicing, it's got recovery. It's got all of these different services and it's basically lumped all of those services back into a generic car body shop, car repairs, car garage, car servicing and it's all broad match. So if I was a new advertiser creating a campaign, this is wrong, wrong, wrong. You want to segment your services into themed ad groups, which will basically enable you to create ads that are relevant to the keywords you're promoting. You can't write an ad relevant to these keywords that covers garage repairs and servicing and body shop all at once. You can add multiple headlines in here that cover body shop and servicing and general, but it's going to mean that your ads are going to be quite diluted with all of these different services, so it's not very effective. So last time I tried this, I prompted because in here on this right hand side, you can actually prompt Google to write new content. This is meant to be conversational. So the two things I've got here is how do I improve my ad strength and generate more headlines and descriptions? So when I click this generate more headlines and descriptions, what I'm expecting to happen is Google will generate alternate versions of the existing content it won't further segment into ad groups and create new ad groups and new keywords and new ad content to go with that i've got a feeling it's actually just going to generate more headlines and descriptions okay so it's come up with more descriptions and more headline opportunities so remove headlines in order to add new headlines and remove descriptions to add new descriptions. So it's exactly as I thought. What's happening here is you have to delete some of this content and then replace it with the content on the right hand side here. So it's not created anything in terms of new ad groups or new targeting. It's basically kept everything the same, but you can replace the content that's already there not very helpful at all now down here you've got this type message section which means you should be able to converse with gemini which is google's proprietary top of the line ai system it should come back with some good answers let's see if i can get a good prompt in here to help with the issues in this setup the first issue being all of the products and services are under one ad group can it be further segmented so let's put a prompt in here Okay, so I've just finished up typing a prompt and it's basically to create multiple ad groups for each of the service areas, including all the services like tires, repair, MOT and body shop. It says I am unable to help you with your keywords at the moment. So again, this tool isn't helping at all. A new advertiser coming in and using this tool without any knowledge of Google Ads is going to get robbed blind by Google with this really low quality campaign. It's really, really poor, really awful. Everything's in one. You're using broad match. The content is mediocre, though more complete than last time I used this tool. There are no, there's no help with call outs. There's no help with site links. In fact, they did create site links. I'll give them that. They said they, they created site links. I think they did. Do, do, do review site links okay so it did create site links that's good not the best ones um you know 
insurance, advice, batteries. They're not really the, the kind of top level services of the business. It didn't contextually understand that. These are very niche apart from servicing information. They're quite niche. So not the best job on site links either. So I could potentially add those in, but they haven't generated any call outs. In fact, I'm gonna ask Google to create some call out extensions. Okay, so I've given it a prompt. Please create call out extensions. Call out extensions are not available in search campaigns. Would you like me to create your text ad with your business's phone number instead? Very, very weird. So maybe it's my phraseology. I'm probably old school Google ads brained here because I've called it call out extensions, which is what they were always, always known as. But they're now called call out assets. So let's try again. I'm going to call it call out assets. Please generate some call out assets. Okay, so let's see what it did. Add some headlines, add some descriptions, did not even honor call out assets whatsoever. So this AI tool from Google using Gemini is absolutely terrible. If you're a new advertiser, you're in trouble. This will not work for you. So as you can see, it's not plain sailing. It still doesn't work very well. I thought actually I was going to be surprised and see that things have come a long way and Google has improved massively but clearly not. They just haven't improved this system at all. It's almost like they've put zero effort into it. Now, my biggest fear here is new advertisers come into Google Ads, see this option and think, oh, this is great. Google can build all the assets for me, set everything up for me. And they realize after spending loads of money and getting no results that Google did a bad job, especially considering the size of the issues with this system. Only using Broadmatch for a small local business. Nah, you don't want to do that only using one ad group which covers all of your areas of your business. Don't want to do that either. And also only generating a handful of keywords. Absolutely terrible. The only saving grace for this system was it managed to put together a complete text ad using all of the 15 headlines and all the four descriptions. Not that they're always necessary, but at least it generated distinct content using those assets. And I think overall it did an okay job. A solid six out of 10, should we say, maybe even seven if they put a few more USPs in there. But ultimately this system is broken, it's flawed, it doesn't work. And from what I can tell, Google are not going to invest into improving this system anytime soon because since I used it previously till now, it's basically not improved. So my advice to you is to not use this tool, but let me know in the comments what you think. Have you tried this tool? Have you given it maybe a better prompt using all of those 3000 characters you had available than I did? Maybe I did a bad job. Maybe I don't know how to use this tool and get the most out of it. Let me know in the comments. I reply to pretty much all comments on all of my videos. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the other content on my channel and I'll see you guys on the next one.